Number three. Number three. Amen. Yeah, Acts 4 12. There is no salvation. There, no there is no salvation. In no one else. In no one there else. is no other name. There is no other name. In all of heaven. In all of heaven. For, all, for people to call. For people to call on, on to save them. On to save them. Yeah, in all of heaven and on earth, there is no other name that we can call for salvation. Number three. Why do we need to pattern our life after scriptures? Go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. We're unpacking some things here. Are you getting blessed, somebody? Hallelujah. The Bible says, look at verse 16 now. It said, All scripture is inspired by God. Let's start with that. All scripture is what? Inspired by God. So, 2 uh, Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. We're still in NLT. Uh, we, we, we just finished reading verse 15, and now we're looking at the third point, and we're in verse number 16. All scripture is inspired by God. So, the scriptures is not like a group of men that gather together to write it, like American Constitution, which was written by men. No, 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 no. The scripture was inspired by God. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. Yeah. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. So nobody sat down to draft it like the American Constitution. It was inspired by God. And once you begin to pattern your life after uh, the scriptures, you're going to live an inspired life. Amen. You're going to be inspired. Amen. You're going to have inspiration as you journey through life. Amen. You're going to be heavily motivated. Amen. You're going to be able to believe in the impossible. Yes, You're going to be able to think the unimaginable. Amen. Oh, yes. You will know how to move mountains. Amen. You will know how to overturn mountains by the roots. Amen. Yes. You'll be able to speak to the rock difficult situation and they will pour out water for you. Amen. You are not going to live a boring life. Yes. When you are not going to be stranded in your life. When you begin to pattern your life, after scripture, you're going to be inspired. Amen. Yeah, because all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. In John chapter 6, verse 63, Jesus speaks. He said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are, they are life. So you're going to have a spirit in you, driving you, an inspired spirit. He said, there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty given him understanding. Job 32, verse 8. So you're going to be a heavily inspired person, a creative person. Amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? Yes, your heart will always be on fire. Amen. Yes, you're going to be. Your mind is going to be alert and active. Yes, sir. You're going to. You're going to be. You know, believing in miracles. Can I hear your amen? amen. Yeah. When you are when, because the scriptures come to inspire you, rather than you know uh, retiring every day, you're going to be filled with fresh fire. Hmm. You're going to perspire. You'll be creative. You'll find creative solutions to the life issues and challenges because your life is patterned after scriptures. Mm. You're going to live and you're going to have inspirational life. You, you know, there will not be closed door that you will not find a way through. Amen. Mountains are going to be overturned from the root. Miracles are going to... And you're going to believe in miracles. You're going to believe in the, you know, unseen because you're going to be inspired. Amen. People of scriptures are very, very highly inspired. Mm. Because they, can, they will be able to find a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. Because there's an inspiration. There's a spirit driving them. Yes, can I hear an amen? amen? Yeah. But when a person does not have, is not building after the scriptures, you're going to be full of discouragement. Mm. You're going to be full of doubt, unbelief, worry. Mm. Because you are, nothing is inspiring you. An inspired person gets excited at challenges. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Jesus was in the wilderness and they told him, they said, Why shall we buy bread to feed these people? <laughs> Jesus that said, You know, I do nothing, but whatever I see my father do, he said, Tell them to sit down. He said, What are you going to say? How many loaves do you have? They said, Two loaves, I mean, five loaves and two fishes. He said, Bring it here. And they brought it, and idea came to multiply it. Inspired person, you will always be finding a way. Amen. May you be inspired in the many days of your life. 
I say, may you be inspired in the many days of your life. May you be filled with inspiration. That's why we build our life on scriptures. So we can be inspired. We can be inspired. Yes. We can be inspired. Many times in my life, you know, once you are, you're just going to get an inspiration. <laughs> Glory be to God. Oh, yes. There was a time I was working and I got to my job when I was doing secular job. I got to my office and they said, the general manager wanted to see me. And I said, what is this? And I went to see, I thought, what is going on? I went to see the general manager and he said, I have decided to move you to the night shift. I'm like, am I a security man? What is the <laughs> night shift? Why am I going to be going on a night shift? You know, it's a factory. But, I, you know, I, I said, what's going to happen? And I just, okay, thank you. And I left there and I went and I prayed. And I just heard in my spirit, God just spoke to me. I will make a way where there seems to be no way. So when I went to the night shift, the Holy Spirit just gave me inspiration. It's, they had a problem in the night shift. The machines were breaking down every, every you know, so much. They, they don't have good production. Hmm. The moment I got there, the Holy Spirit said, speak to the machines. Yeah, I said, say to these things. Hear the word of the Lord. So I spoke all to the machines. I said, in the name of Jesus, you all be, you see, inspiration. You all begin. Somebody will have thought, because most people that were transferred there, they got fired after, you know, because you don't know the fire. So people, when they send you there, it's like, the, you, pathway, to the pathway to be fired. <laughs> when I got there, I was inspired. I spoke to the machines. I said, hear the word of the Lord. Is it can speak to dry bones? Yes, you see, inspiration, you're going to speak to things. Amen. And the machines began to behave. Do you know what? When I go, everything is working like they are so happy. It's a good season. I was reading my Bible from night to morning. That's all I was doing because the machines were functioning well. So what do I need to do? I was reading my Bible. Most of the script, I read my Bible. I read it a lot. So much scripture inside me was one of the time that night. In the night, everywhere is quiet. So the Holy Spirit was just speaking to me, revelations. <laughs> That's it. And from there, after the team worked so well, they wanted to create another department. The manager said, you know what? That guy I took to the night will be the best person. So they created the department for me. You see? An inspired person is never stranded. Amen. Can I prophesy? You will not be stranded again Amen. in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why you need to pattern your life after scriptures.